Okay, fifth graders, here's part two. This is, um, what is this? This is chapter, chapter one, section three. And like I said, part two. So we didn't quite finish it in class. I'm going a little bit slower. I think it's kind of necessary uh, for you guys. i got to turn down my music here before it gets too loud on me. Um, so let's see here. I did some of these, well, quite a few on the first page with you guys. A couple of them you can see that I have written down here. I'm looking at number 11, and I think, I don't remember if I recorded that piece or not, but that's 7 over 1,000. Number 14, you can see the ant there. It's 9, nine over 10. And then in uh, 19 through 26, you're doing the opposite. You're converting these fractions into decimals. So for example, number 24 I did, and that's five over a thousand. Um, so let's see here. I think if you under if you watch the first first half, you should be good good with that. So anyways, anyways, part two here, I'm going to drop down to the next page and let's take a look at some of these. It says the Palmer's property tax bill for the year is $3,513. In their first installment, they pay 1757 How much do they still owe on their bill? Well, we're talking about a simple subtraction problem. It says write an equation to model your work. Well, it's, it's um, the, an equation, you know, is, is, is something with an equal sign. So it's going to be 3513 subtracting 1757 and that's going to equal something. I'll let you figure that one out. That's going to be how much they have left. And I know it's an equation because I have an equal sign. You put an equal sign in that, it's, and it becomes an equation. Okay, uh, number 29, it says write the fractions 22 over 100 and 22 over 1,000 as decimals. Well, let's take a look at that. Let's do 22 over um, 100. And I need to write that as a decimal. Um, so it's over 100, so it's going to be two places, and they give us the numbers. It's going to be 0 0.22, 0 0.22. And then they said, let's do 22 over 1,000. So now we're talking three places here. Oop, had a zero there. It's going to be three places to the right of the decimal. But how many numbers are we talking about here? Just two. And it happens to be 22. So it's going to be 0 0.022. All right, because it's over a thousand, three places, and then over a hundred, two places, two places. All right. Um, and how are the, it asks the question then? It says, um, and I can go ahead and write this down here 0.22 and 0 0.022. And how are the two digits related in each of the decimals? Um, how are they related? Well, the two on the left is 10 times greater than the two on the right. All right. And in the first video, I talked about that. Um, talked about, depending if you're going left or right, it's one tenth or ten times greater if the digits are the same. Okay, number 30. Simon scored four times ten to the second points in a game. Joe scored two times ten to the third points in the same game. Who scores higher? Well, first off, remember, what's what's 10 squared equal? 10 squared equals 100. What's 10 cubed equal? That equals 1,000. And then it says Simon scored four times 10 squared, so that's four times 100, or 100 times four. So that what's that gonna be? That's gonna be 400. And Joe scored two times 10 to the third. That's going to be 1,000 times 2, or 2 times 1,000. That's going to be 2,000. Whose score is higher? Well, obviously, Joe. 
Joe's score is higher and how much higher? Well, how much higher is 2,000 from 400? What's the difference? You got to figure that one out. 2,000 minus 400 equals something. That's how much higher his score is. Number 31. Kelly said that 97 over 1,000 can be written as 0.97. Is she correct? No, she's not correct. No, because 97 over 1,000 is not 0.97, it's 0 0.097. Um, is she correct? No, explain. Um, it's, um, well, I don't know. Uh, it's in the thousands. THS, there's that ending that tells us we're talking about decimals. Thousands place. Okay. All right, 32. Moving down. Uh, Frank reasoned that the number 0.555 um, Oh that in the number 0.555 the value of the five in the thousands place. So let's color code this I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do the thousands place And I'll do that in green right there. Oh, maybe it's gonna be too yeah, I think my highlighter is too thick. Let's do this. Thousands place. I'm going to circle it in green. The value of the five in the thousands place is ten times as great as the value of the five in the hundreds place. So now I'm going to circle on hundreds place. That's going to be this five right there. So let's see here. The value of the five in the thousands place is 10 times as great as the five in the hundreds place. Is that correct? Um, the answer is no. And it's because the, the green five, the five in the thousands place, um, the thousands, place is 10 times smaller, not larger, 10 times smaller, or one-tenth of the hundreds place. There's that THS ending that tells us we're talking about decimals, okay? Wow, I'm kind of doing all these for you guys. What a scam. I should make you do some. How many cubes are in the box? Uh, what fraction of the entire box do the seven cubes represent? All right. So uh, how many cubes are in the box? Well, the 10 times 10 times 10 should tell you. So that's going to be, that's 1,000. There's 1,000 cubes. So um, what fraction of the entire box do the seven cubes represent? Yeah, I'm going to ask somebody about that one. So in other words, write a fraction of, uh, in other words, 0 0.007, convert that into a fraction. All right, 34, 35, you guys can do on your own. Um, these will be worth group points. Okay, that's it, you guys. Um, is there something I wanted to, I did kind of want to go over, a well, no, I think I did in the first in the first video. No, I don't need to. Um, okay, that's it. I will end this and see you guys tomorrow.